Oliver Slope is at the trading floor in Chicago, and he is with Blue Line Futures. He joins us right now. Man, there's a lot of negative news here in the ag commodity trade today. What's going on? A lot of pressure here to start the week, and it's really just been feeding on itself from the beginning of last night. Now, we oftentimes take the overnight session with a grain of salt, but the price action was confirmed when we got the floor open and we saw the funds continue to liquidate some of their long positions. And then, obviously, you throw some producer selling on top of that, and you get kind of a snowball effect. And so we're seeing a lot of pressure here. But I think that the volatility will present a lot of opportunity uh, here in the near future. The, there's an old saying, buy when people People are fearful, sell when people are greedy. Well, they're starting to become a lot more fear down at some of these technical levels, and, and there's a lot of support uh, on the charts, specifically in this corn market. Looking at the new, new crop December, 402 to 404, I think represents a pretty good value opportunity. This is the lows from late April, the 100-day moving average, as well as the 50% retracement or middle of the range over the last year. And I think we're probably a little bit oversold here. So I wouldn't be surprised to see, at the very least, a relief rally to recover some of these losses that we've seen over the last week. Now, in order to get the bull trend back intact, we need to see a close back above 411, which is the gap uh, from last week. Now, as far as the soybeans are concerned, it's not quite uh, as pretty as the picture. I still think there's probably a little bit more room to work a little bit lower. Obviously, the talk uh, putting pressure on the market here this morning is the continued concerns around trade. And we're going to continue to keep a close eye on the news wires as we expect to hear more uh, develop on that front. But as far as the charts go, there's not a whole lot of support. There's a little bit 1013 for that new crop. That's the middle of the range over the last year. But really looking for a retest closer to that psychologically significant 10 dollar handle just above that 1002 and 1006 also a gap and the 200 day moving average so i think if you want to be long the bean market be a little bit more patient